Hey everybody, I'm Rocco Despirito, and thank you for coming back because today I'm gonna take everything we've learned in the last five webisodes and kind of put it all together and put a whole meal together. Uh, today I'm gonna actually make a Bertoli Mediterranean style meal. And I'm gonna show you a couple of other things in terms of beverages. Beverages are super important in the Mediterranean world. Wine and water, the two main beverages. And then if you're not drinking wine or water, you're drinking some kind of fruit drink. And I'll show you how to make a non-alcoholic, really cool fruit drink. Let me start by showing you how to make this, this meal. This is uh, penne pasta with shrimp, cherry tomatoes, and white wine sauce. So you need a 10-inch uh, skillet. Nonstick is great. And actually, before I put this in a pan, I just want to show you what this looks like. So you should immediately see the difference between this and every other frozen food you've ever seen. Most frozen food comes in a giant block. The cool thing about this is that they've taken the sauce and frozen it in little pieces that melt immediately. And so the sauce bathes the rest of the vegetables immediately. You're not ending up with anything burned or anything undercooked. It all cooks evenly and at the same time. What's amazing is that they got the pasta to stay al dente even though it's frozen. Notice all the cherry tomatoes. Not easy to find cherry tomatoes that are frozen and delicious. So you cover it and you cook it for literally nine minutes. You stir it up and you're done. And while this is cooking, I'm gonna show you how to make a couple of other things that will complement the meal, beverages. This is a, an apricot drink that is non-alcoholic. Fruit is a very important part of the Mediterranean diet. Obviously, they're blessed with amazing fruit. You can get great apricot nectar. When you buy nectar made of apricots, it adds a lot to it. It's nice and thick. It's gonna be mostly the apricot nectar, which is thick and syrupy, so we're gonna lighten it up with what's called aranciata. Great fizz, it's basically orange juice that's lightly sweetened. Let's stir this guy up. Putting a little bit of lemon juice in there. Now, I'm gonna do something that may look really goofy. It's a little pinch of salt. You know, salt just heightens all the flavors. You know, just a hot summer day, you're sitting on a porch. It's a great drink. Yummy. Glad you're happy with it. Yeah, well, you know, when I grew up, my family always had water and wine on the table. This is what they drank, water and wine. There's a lot of choices of wine in Italy. Here's what you need to know. Pinot Grigio is the grape variety that makes most people happy in terms of white wine, and Sangiovese is the grape variety that makes most people happy in terms of red wine. Okay, so I think this is done. I didn't even have to stir it. I'm just gonna toss it. It tastes great, and the, the pasta is cooked perfectly al dente. I put a little Parmesan cheese, because why not? So you get to finish this any way you want. I mean, it's perfectly seasoned the way it was, but I like Parmesan cheese, and I like these little pepperoncino and just about everything. So now tossing is how pasta is finished, and the reason you toss is to thicken the pasta so that the cheese melts. You can see how it's starting to glaze. And it's also a great way to make sure all the pasta is flavored evenly. Let's put a little more on top. That looks really beautiful. Thanks so much for being here today, and thanks for putting up with me through all of my webisodes. See you next time.